Crash late last night takes the life of a recent high school graduate. Six teens between the ages of 17 and 19 were in the vehicle. Four others were injured. The crash happened shortly after 10 on a dirt access road between Tropical Parkway and Centennial Parkway. Police say a 2002 Chevrolet Silverado truck lost control and rolled over down an embankment. Two girls in the bed of the truck were ejected. One of those girls died, 18-year-old Summer Potashan. 8 News Now reporter Sally Jaramillo spoke with family and friends and shares more about who Summer was. Sally? Christiane Summer Potashan just graduated from high school about two weeks ago. She attended Veterans Tribute Career and Technical Academy. After speaking to family and friends, they tell me she was loved by everyone. Summer was total totally the happiest kid I ever met in my life. <laughs> As we walk inside Summer's bedroom, her dad, David Potachan, carries a heavy heart. I don't think my life will ever be the state without her around. I can't explain what it feels like to lose a child. Nobody really wants that in life. I wouldn't wish that upon anybody. Our children are supposed to bury us. David describes Summer as a beautiful social butterfly who was outspoken and loved by every friend she made. And we'd go boating and everybody knew her and she was very popular. She was absolutely beautiful, young and starting her life. His most cherished memory with her. Summer and I have driven in cars, playing music while she drove and we would film it and put it on Instagram or Facebook and make peace signs and stuff like kids. David says he never ever would think something like this could happen to his angel, but it did, and he has a message. And I would suggest any parent, teenager, anybody listening to this would not ride in the back of a truck, ride inside, put your seatbelt on, because no parent, child, woman, man, grandparents, anybody would want to get this phone call about their child. As for the driver of the truck, she was not injured and did not show any signs of impairment. Reporting live in Centennial Hills, Sally Jaramillo, 8 News Now.